And now, our feature presentation. for senior citizens. Some great place to build a retirement home. I'd rather take gas. We don't have to live there. Let me explain. You see, you and I have this aerial photography business, and the builders pay us to take pictures. Lose it, Pepper. Because of my overwhelming compassion. Oh, not again. When I see someone acting like a jerk, I am compelled to act. Because at heart, I am a Christian man. And only a heathen who has lost God would mock me for attempting to guide them back to the, the good life. life. Now, if you'd stop running around and carrying on, you know that if the you'd bend your ways, built, if you'd go Chicago home at night like a good husband is supposed to, and you've got to stop It was six feet high, nine domino. feet wide, and over 20 feet long. be a high-stepping crap shooter. One of the Which brings me around to your imbibing. You've got to stop sucking up the sauce. Now, if you transform yourself, maybe Kate might possibly... The exposure usually... The smallest camera, except for those used in intracardiac surgery... I don't want to hear it. 
you and Guinness can drop dead. You're a fool, and Kate was smart to walk out on you. And another thing, how come you get to go to Vegas for the weekend when I have to deliver those pictures? Well, that's because you're just the click-click boy, and I am the old, bold pilot. Bold, my asthmatic uncle. This crate flies itself. All you do is read that dumb Guinness book while I do all the labor. That's where you're going to end up one of these days, out there in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by nothing. It's a sad but true fact. This must be some kind of a joke. You can't be serious. The law is always a serious business, Mr. Uh, Mr. Barker. You have been found guilty of speeding within the incorporated boundaries of the town of Bates. Town? This isn't even a crossroad. Officer Ferguson, have you any further complaints against the defendant? <laughs> 
No, sir, none to speak of, Your Honor. His manners could stand... Oh, away. look, I'm sorry about driving too fast. 23 Can't miles just over to... the limit at $5 a mile comes um, to... I was just up in Vegas. I'm afraid I didn't comes make out to a total well. of $115. Cash money, no checks or credit cards. Oh, well, I've only got two tens here. Could we consider that kind of a down payment, sort of? You do and have the privilege of working off the balance of your fine at $15 a day. Fair wages for labor on a municipal project. All prisoners work eight hours every day, except on Sunday. And we serve lunch at high noon. Now, it gets a little hot and sticky out here, so we just don't press that hard. You. Get to feeling kind of sickly. You go on over there and take a breather. Yeah, we'll feed the dog, too. Now, we're impounding your car until the fine is worked off. Now, on the honor system here, as you can see, there's nothing but miles of desert out there, so I just wouldn't recommend that you take to too much walking. But if you do take off, then we have to sell the car to pay off the fine. You understand that, don't you? Let me show you what you're going to be doing. Mr. Baxter calls this our municipal project. Municipal project? This is insane. We're trying to make this a nice place for people to come and visit again. You might even consider that you're helping a worthy cause by bringing happiness to a lot of folks. You can start by cleaning up the yard, and pile up the rocks and the trash. Mrs. Baxter will bring you a lunch, and she'll show you where your quarters are. You got any questions? I sure got one. Well, I just don't think you ought to ask it. You will put the top up of my car, won't you? Thanks, whoever you are. You sure he checked out? Then where is he? It's only a five-hour drive. Thanks. The hotel said he left early this morning. 
He's getting it on with a woman somewhere. Kate, don't be that way. You're the man of chance. You'll get it together. What's the matter? You don't figure 15 years adds up to a chance? I gave him more of a chance than he ever gave our marriage. We'll need some retakes. Why? A few didn't turn out. Terrific. That blows our delivery date, and so long to getting paid. And what'll we tell the man who's waiting to put the padlock on the door, and us without enough cash to pay the telephone bill? Can't you just erase it? <laughs> it's in the film. I can't erase it. I don't even know what it is. Reshooting means another 200 gallons of gas. And our pilot has disappeared somewhere between here and Vegas. Wonderful. Oh, Harley, come on. Don't be that way. Give the man a chance. He'll get it together. Like all of us, I'd like to see our town come back to life. I've lived here longer than anyone except Henry. And I've always supported our town policy of municipal improvement. But I'm just wondering if perhaps we shouldn't evaluate other options. The option we should have made was to not start fussing with them automobile speeders. When we're standing on more wealth, than any of you know. I'm talking about yellow gold. Why, a few years ago, them streets out there was paved with the stuff. That's true, Henry. Yeah, it's true. And the claims still have some kind of a, a low-grade ore, but with the cost of mining the way it is today, it just doesn't pay to work them. Maybe Virginia's got something. Maybe, maybe we're a little too set in our ways, not progressive enough in our thinking. Now, Pat, you know that isn't true. This town has always been forward-looking. Why, in my grandpa's day, Bates was a prosperous and civilized little town. That was a long time ago, Tom. And when we, when we finish reconstructing Santa's village, we are going to have an attraction here that's going to bring in people from all over the state. I think what Pat means is that those Santa's Why, village... I can once remember was... when over a hundred families lived in this town. But we had a dance every Saturday night, right out there on the street. Oh, many's the time, Virginia Porter. I've seen you and Fred out there dancing until you almost dropped. And we had a school and a church. Remember that? And it wasn't just one skinny little child. We had many of them. Bates was not just a name on the map. It was a community. And it can be a community again. We have the strength to breathe life into this town. What town? Whatever Bates was died when the freeway was built. I mean, this isn't a town anymore. Well, you're just a bunch of people too scared to get up and leave a place we know for a place we don't know. I mean, people come this way either to get to Las Vegas or to get out of Las Vegas. And no one is ever going to stop here for more than gas and a cold beer. Most of the time, it is so damn hot, even the lizards go underground which half the time is shaking so bad from earth tremors, people think doomsday has come.
I hear something. I'm clear night and pick up Las Vegas sometimes. The apple was real good. And the beer this afternoon really hit the spot. You want a candy bar? I sure do. Thanks. You want half? No, thanks. I already ate four today. Those magazines aren't very new. I think most of them are older than you are. Mrs. Baxter reads them. She used to get every magazine in the world. She don't anymore. How's your dinner? He likes it. You live here? Yeah. With your parents? No, they're dead. Who with, then? Everybody. Hmm? Huh? Everybody takes a turn. This week, Miss Porter. Last week, Officer Ferguson. Week before that, Mr. Baxter, the judge. Next week, I go to live with Mr. Butler. I've been declared a ward of the town. Hmm. Tell me something else. What? This, um, pride and joy of the judges. What he calls his, um, municipal project. You and Officer Ferguson and the others don't really believe it's ever going to draw anything but flies, do you? Then why does everybody go along with Baxter? He used to be rich. He owned lots of things. I don't get it. He spent all his money on us. You mean he's been supporting this whole place for years with his own dough? Can I pet the dog tonight? I'll take good care of him. Oh, I don't think he'll go along with you. Pepper sticks pretty close to me. Come on, Pepper. You want to go for a walk? Hey. What's your name? Angela. Angela. Can I ask you something? Could you help me get out of here? I guess I could. If they found out you helped me, would they punish you? No. I'd come back and get you one of these days. Maybe you and I go to Disneyland together. You'd have a real fine time there. How about it? See you in the morning. Come on, Pepper. I used to fly one when I was in the Navy, only it was a bomber. Now that I'm, uh, well, retired from the military, I fly airplanes that just take pictures. You take pictures from up there? Uh-huh. For developers, builders, people who want to see what a big piece of land looks like. How you doing, boy? Guess in an airplane, you can go anywhere. Nothing can stop you. Not mountains or deserts or anything. That's right. Up there, nothing can stop you. Must be wonderful. Sure, we'd like to get back up there somehow. Pepper and me are going with Officer Ferguson, so we won't be around this afternoon. But we'll see you tonight. Come on, Pepper!
strip in Las Vegas. More of the sounds of summer with a beat. Hurry, hurry. Helen! You don't need it blasting like that. Just sitting right on top of it. What are you doing? Smile. You're on candid camera. Wait a second. Come on, Papa, come on. Okay, Papa, come on. Right there. Right over there. That's it. Okay, now. Hey, look. Remember what I said about coming back someday? To take you to Disneyland, you know. Oh, I knew you didn't mean it. What are you doing? Miss Porter said she didn't think it was fair that you were locked up for what you did, and neither do I. You know you're some special kind of kid. Look, I am going to come back someday. So in the meantime, you take care of him. But Steve! Anytime you hear an airplane engine, you look up, because one of these days it's going to be me. Watch my wings. Pepper, you take care of her, you hear? Yeah, yeah, baby, I read you perfectly. You get your bread. Man, where you been hiding? Let's go. Where are we going? For a fly in the sky, I'll tell you on the way. Well, Marco Polo, home at last. I'll wait for you outside. Was she a stripper or a blackjack dealer? Her name is Angela. Oh, we're starting over with the A's. Terrific. She's 10 years old. <laughs> I could say something really nasty. You've had lots of practice. Where's Pepper? I gave him to Angela. Do you want to hear what happened? Why read the book? I saw the movie. Smudges. Where did they come from? That's just it. Kate don't know. All I know is we got to go back up again. Hey, boys, time's running out. You always talking about money. Man, what you got for a heart? A cash register? You ain't got no humanity. Well, I like good cigars. Come on, we can't blow the whole day. You got through tomorrow night, that's it. Let's get the retakes on the ranch. Lord, I'm counting on you. 
No more red smudges. We're looking for clean pictures. I don't believe that. Must have happened over the weekend. Yeah. Looks like a 500-pounder hit it. Let's go home. Beats me. I don't know how it got there. If this red smudge don't come back, I'll forgive you for this inconvenience. I hope he appreciates your generosity. It's got to be a light leak. I checked the camera. There is no leak. Maybe something went wrong in the tank. Well, it's something. Whatever it is, it's killing us. We're going to have to go back one more time. Goodbye to another 200 gallons of fuel, and we'd better start flying at night so the chief don't see us. How are the pictures of the ranch? Clear. Same ranch, same camera, same raw stock. One set of pictures has red smudges, one set doesn't. Why? Well, don't ask me. I'm the click-click boy. I ain't no scientist. Us bloods don't care nothing about science. It's up to you honkies. Have a nice evening. See you in the morning. Ranch with red smudges. Same ranch, no red smudges. Here we have a ridge with red smudges. And all the other pictures are clear? Yes. And all of them taken with the same camera. And the same raw stock. I'd understand it if we'd use different shipments of negative. What's this? Hmm. Some stuff I shot with a 35. I'll develop it later. Do you want me to do it? Hmm. It's all right. You staying? Mm-hmm. Steve? I'm sorry about what I said this morning. I believe it's called a conditioned reflex. Good night, Steve. See you in the morning.
Kate Barker. Fine, thank you. The boys are up right now. Look, Max, uh, that last shipment of 5653 came in a couple of weeks ago. Where'd you get it? Same place? Look, do me a favor. Call a guy and ask him if he's had any other complaints, anything out of the ordinary. We're getting some red smudges. Not every time, just sometimes. We don't know what it is, but it ain't making us any richer. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Max. for school. is costing us. Well, a man's got to be sociable with a lady you spend a couple of days with. Go on back there and take a picture. Be a sport. Sport my foot. It's that Barker fella, that fly boy we had locked up. I told you the chief was going to foreclose. Well, what were we supposed to do? Stay up there and fly around forever? We had to come down. Goodbye, airplane. You have been impounded and rendered incapable of flying. So far, so good. I've just got to print up a few more. The red smudge is gone? All gone.
And I think I know why. When we shot the ranch again, it was clear. Today, we shot the ridge formation, and now it's clear. So make your point, baby. When we first flew over the ridge formation this morning, did you see any difference? Uh-huh. That was every time. Man, so busy taking pictures, he doesn't see what he's looking at. Man, what are you talking about? Now, look at these two pictures. Tell me if you see any difference. Except for the fact that one has a red smudge and the other one doesn't. They're both the same. Okay. Yes. You see it. Uh-huh. Hello? Max. Harley, look. You see this boulder here? And this one, and this one? Say that again. Sure, sure, sure. So what? Well, in this picture here, this boulder's down here. And this one? You're kidding. Well, as a matter of fact, they're all down at the bottom of the hill in this picture. So they all roll down the hill. What does that prove? We Harley, these wait. rocks weigh hundreds of tons apiece. What pushed them? What made them suddenly roll down the hill? Well, how would I know? Things like that happen in the desert all the time. Haven't you ever heard of an avalanche? Yeah, but what caused it? What caused this avalanche? Sometime what? between when we first flew over this ridge formation and 24 hours later, something happened. The entire an earthquake. That explains. If there had been an earthquake, we would have heard about Harley, it. Harley, I'm telling you, an earthquake moved these boulders down this hill. And it's got something to do with these red smudges. Thanks, Max. No wonder we're going nuts. The entire shipment of film was recalled by the manufacturer over a month ago. Every customer who bought it was notified. Somehow they missed Max until Monday. Why was the raw stock recalled? There was some kind of chemical defect in the dyes or something. Max wasn't too sure. He said there was a computer mistake in the processing. Couldn't happen again in a thousand years. Could we get some more of that film? It was all destroyed. Do we have any left? We used the last of it today. I knew it. I knew it last night, but I couldn't put it together. Somehow, that film picked up heat radiation from the Earth. They have fried your brains out there in Bates. There is no way in the world that anybody can predict an earthquake. Harley, I think Steve's right. What? Look, we know it's not the equipment, and it's not the developing. It's the raw stock. Here's the ranch with red smudges, the ranch without red smudges. Here's the ridge line with red smudges, and the same picture without. Each photograph without red smudges clearly indicates there's been some kind of land movement. Here, it's obvious that the ranch has been totally destroyed. And here, we see that boulders that were up here are now down here. Now, I can't explain it scientifically, but somehow, those red smudges are a kind of warning. And don't forget the time factor. Right. It seems to be within 24 hours. And in that time, whap, it's all over. I'll go finish up. Man, I do not believe this at all. smudges. Oh, my God, it's Bates. The town's going to be hit by an earthquake.
doing today? Huh? Oh, same as every day. Getting a normal static from upstairs about what's going on. And fed up with having to clean up after those hot dogs who've got brains in their backsides. Oh, you're always complaining, but you love it, right? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Look, Kate, I want you to know there was nothing personal on my part. It wasn't my idea to grab your plane. Oh, Chief, we know that. You see, the guys upstairs were all over me, all the time hollering, where's the dough? Where's the dough? Are you sure all you have to do is connect the magnetos from under there? I'm telling you, the engines are going to start. Listen, when you pay the bill, you'll get your plane back. I still want to know why we're risking jail to save a town located in nowhere that's nothing more than a speed trap. Because people live there, in particular, a little girl. I still say we ought to call the authorities. Believe me, they'll never believe me. <laughs> See you. Hey, Kate, come on over to the office and have a scotch before you go home tonight. Best offer I've had in weeks. Okay. You should have known him during the war. Nerves of steel. Uh, I think he was fantastic.
What page, Angela? 72. Well, it seems that's where you were half an hour ago. I missed some parts, so I had to go back. I see. Would you be interested in some Fig Newtons after your lesson? Does that mean I don't get them until I finish? Very perceptive. Remember what I said about coming back someday? Oh, I knew you didn't mean it. Miss Porter said she didn't think it was fair that you were locked up for what you did. And neither do I. You know you're some special kind of kid. Look, I am going to come back someday. Anytime you hear an airplane, you look up, because one of these days it's going to be me. What is it, Helen? Well, come here a minute. Till I tell you. Listen, everybody, there's no time to lose. I can't explain all the scientific mumbo-jumbo right now, but this place right here where you're standing is going to be hit by an earthquake. It's all true. Please, Willis. It could happen any second. Now, there isn't time to do anything in this area. Please, don't just stand there. 
We've all got to get out of here. Get on the plane now. Parker, I don't know what you're trying to prove with this kind of a stunt. We have tremors here all the time. They're common in this country. I'm not talking about some Shut up. Every one of you here, shut up. You think we got nothing better to do than to steal this thing? Fly out here in the middle of nothing to argue with yokels too dumb to know that Judgment Day ain't coming. It's here, today, now. What in the devil's going on here? Officer Ferguson, arrest these people. Okay, nobody move. Man, I told you this hot box wasn't worth saving. Steve, oh. Oh. it's starting. Oh, oh my God! Oh, Pat. don't worry about it. Pat. I've had these before. Oh God! Oh. Calm down, everybody. Don't get scared. Just oh. a drop tremor. There's no time to lose. That was nothing compared to what's going to happen. Now, please, just get on the plane. Harley, start the engine. I'm going to check the building. Everybody, don't get hysterical. Will you understand this place is finished? You're going to kill all these people.
Never had a ride like this before, did we, Pepper? You drive right on, brother. Are you two going together? <laughs> We're trying. Hey, you like him a lot, don't you? Of course. He came back for me, didn't he? And I hope he came back for me, too. When can we go to Disneyland? Whatever you ladies want. 